we call this press conference is because uh, we are concerned uh, with what's happening in Sarawak. Um, especially there are, I think for almost a couple of years, I think uh, there are so many allegations that are being made uh, against the chief minister and his families and his um, his business associates, you know, and also members of uh, of his cabinet, you know, some members of his cabinet, and um, more exposure are being made, you know, and uh, therefore uh, TI uh, being an NGO um, concerned with fighting corruption, uh, we are concerned, uh, and therefore. Um, uh, therefore, uh, we feel that um, we feel that uh, we need to have this press conference uh, uh, to appeal uh, to the authorities uh, uh, and agencies, uh, not only the MACC but uh, other enforcement agencies and regulators as well. Uh. So uh, the allegations uh, involve not just corruption. Uh, corruption, uh, by our definition, is an abuse of entrusted power for personal gain. So it's not just about bribery alone. Eh? Right? So there may be other violations uh, against the, comp uh, the country's uh, laws. Eh? Uh, for example, against um, um, uh, um, Company Act, for example, you know, Company Act, and also that could be also against the issue of uh, illicit flow of money. Huh? So those are allegations that are made, and so uh, so we appeal to uh, th that the enforcement agency like MACC and other regulatories, uh, re regulatory body, uh, should s uh, start to investigate vigorously and immediately without fear or favor yeah. and the enforcement agency must act uh, to counter uh, public cynicism of selective investigation or non-investigation and selective prosecution or non-prosecution especially involving uh, big fish yeah, big fishes uh, the impression uh, that has been uh, uh, established in the past uh, that the authorities uh, s had been selective no, in their prosecution of cases, you know, and the big cases are usually not investigated, no, or if they are investigated, uh, nothing comes out of it, you know. So, um, so it's important that um, that the authorities. Uh, give the public the confidence uh, that actions have been taken uh, are being taken at least uh, in the, in this case the only allegations the only allegations I think they have to look at all, all. Uh, I, I mean they, it, you cannot do it piecemeal mm -hmm. uh, first thing is First thing is obviously uh, from the allegations that's made online, especially uh, there seems to indicate that there is um, there, there seems to indicate that there is a tremendous amount of wealth uh, that have been amassed um, at least by uh, CM's family, yeah, CM's family. Uh, so I think um, it is only proper uh, that investigation should be carried out to clear the air, so to speak, on how this uh, wealth has been amassed, you know, whether they have been um, sec uh, obtained yeah, in a proper or uh, legal manner. So, investigation has to be done. Um, are you urging these investigations to be done? 
um, before the Sarawak polls are held? I mean, do you think it would help the voters to vote better? I, I, I think the investigation is up to the authorities, you know, to, to carry it out. And probably they are already doing it, you know. I, I don't know, you know. So, uh, but some action should be taken. You know, in the past, I think the online media that uh, particularly expose, uh, exposes uh, all these uh, allegations, uh, the people behind it were not disclosed, eh? were not disclosed, so to speak. Eh? So, uh, but now I think they identify themselves, uh, they come out, you know, and so it's only proper that um, uh, that the authorities uh, should look at the availability of the, uh, the, the the allegations that's made there. And I understand that uh, also uh, some documents um, a, f a filing has been made by certain groups or certain people to the MACC. So officially, the uh, report has been lodged, a complaint has been lodged. I think this is in the news. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's not confidential. Okay. <laughs>